Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Good morning, you guys. It's currently 7.30, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my morning routine for 2022. I'm honestly not a big morning person, but ever since 2022 hit and I decided to change up my routine, I've actually enjoyed my mornings and I've actually been really productive. So I wanna show you guys my morning routine for this year. Let's get into the bathroom, first of all. <laughs> So next, I want to show you guys my skincare for the morning and what has truly been a game changer for my skin. First thing I'm going to start off is my cleanser, which I'm currently using Curology and I plan on continuing using Curology. This is glowing, this is looking better than ever and it's all thanks to Curology, this is not sponsored, but I really like their products. So I just like to make sure my hands are a bit wet and then I just put the cleanser on, pea size amount, not that much. It's a very light cleanser, which I don't really have sensitive skin anyway, but you don't need a lot and you don't need to do the most. It kind of just blends in with your face. So the next thing I use is the Curology Moisturizer. Just I put a few dots and my neck. It honestly feels so nice. And the last and final product that I like to use is the Olay sunscreen with the SPF of 30. You guys, you need to be wearing your sunscreen. Wear sunscreen. I didn't realize the importance really until I started getting hyperpigmentation and my hyperpigmentation has been going down and I'm so happy about that, but I make sure to wear my sunscreen. So yes, wear sunscreen helps prevent wrinkles and all that jazz. You know the drill. But yeah, as you can see, that is actually my skincare routine with all the products. You can see it's very, very simple. I don't do anything extra with it, especially in the morning. All done. and usually at this point I would just be jamming to music while I'm doing my makeup but your girl's not trying to get copyrighted no I'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup routine today I'm gonna do my natural glam makeup routine I do not do this makeup routine every day there are some days where I'll literally just wear nothing or some days where I'll just curl my eyelashes and wear mascara and be on the go but today I'm gonna show you guys my makeup routine that's like more interesting if you want to say that I recently found and enjoyed Okay, so we are all finished with my makeup. Now I'm actually going to make my bed. I do make my bed every single day. Before, I used to like kind of make it, maybe make it, but no, I cannot stand a messy bed. I like to walk in a room when my bed is all nice and clean. So having a messy bed is a big no-no. So we're gonna make our bed.
Okay, so now that my bed is all made, I like to read my devotional, which is Strength for Each Day by Joyce Meyer. Basically, every single day, there's some type of word for literally the whole year. It will have a whole message for me, and it will literally have a prayer for me to say. So I'm going to read this one. Hey you guys, so a lot of you actually have been asking me to talk more about my Christianity. So your big sister is here. So I'm going to be telling you guys some things that I have learned, you know, being a Christian and how I started. Because there are so many things to do as a Christian. You can listen to a message, but it's like, what message do I listen to? You can read a book. What book do I read? How do I start off my mornings? What is a proper routine that you need to have to spend with God? And the biggest thing is I wanted God, but I didn't know what I need to do to please him. God honors the fact that you are even trying to seek him and want to be in his presence and is looking for him and he eventually did guide me. I would say start very simple. Do not overcomplicate routine. Being a Christian is a lifestyle. It is more than just religion. It is something I do throughout the day. But for specifically just for my morning routine, I remember starting off with just a simple devotional. I like to start off by reading my devotional. Then I would read the Bible verses that came with the devotional and specifically go to that chapter. And then I would pray and I would worship and lastly I would sit still in God's presence now for me this took a while to set and establish this routine because even though my mom taught me you have to find God for yourself and finding that own personal relationship is something God is working within you God led me to reading the Bible because the Bible really did intimidate me at first because I thought there were so many rules and the Bible was so thick and usually within those girls devotionals they'll have like verses and scriptures that you can go to anything you're reading listening to is always supposed to guide you right back to the Bible and it made me want to read the Bible more and get more into his word I would ask Holy Spirit please give me revelation on these things because I do not know everything and God is not expecting us to know everything so if I don't know something or I'm not understanding I would pray first and I say father please help me to have understanding and give me wisdom and help me to get revelation about these things and Holy Spirit will guide you Holy Spirit is our friend and our helper and he's our comforter and you can ask Holy Spirit anything and he will help that is what he is here for so don't be afraid to call on Holy Spirit and so thank you all so much for actually listening to this Christian talk so if you want more like Christian talks I definitely can give it to you guys and so yeah let's go get some breakfast now <laughs> Okay, so it is actually nine o'clock and I need to get started on online school. So yes, I do do online school and it's not all that fun. It's kind of boring, but we're gonna get work done. We're not even gonna talk about how it took me two hours to get ready. Miss girl, what were you doing? Okay, so my class is literally not even like here until like 12.30. So we have a lot of time. I actually don't even have a lot of assignments. I don't have that much work today. Okay, Izzy. For real though, you need to get started on school because we are actually kind of behind. My easel just fell down. What? Oh, uh, I have to find all those vocabulary words and put a definition and an example with a picture. I really don't feel like doing this right now. Lord, I'm okay. I'm okay. I finished. 
at 12 o'clock and at 2 o'clock I have a required class that I have to go to one thing is it's so annoying because like I'll literally be doing something else and I'll forget that I have classes so your girl's actually gonna set an alarm now that I'm reminding myself so it is currently 10 14 so, oh, so the next thing I have to do is I have to do the lingo and I have to create my thumbnails like I said I usually use this time while I have free time either to film a video or usually do some type of editing and YouTube stuff I gotta get work done so we're gonna start doing some YouTube kind of stuff and low-key it's been such a good day I just feel really good I feel really fresh yeah remind me never to say that again <laughs> free and fresh I'm feeling good okay I'm just feeling good it's been a great day even though I really just did school but the way you wake up for like the first 30 minutes literally sets the tone for your entire day if you're spending like already 30 minutes when you first wake up on your phone you're most likely gonna spend hours on your phone and this is why I don't go on my phone when I first wake up and yes this is my routine every single day like this is not just because I'm filming but yeah let's stop the chitter chatting the, let's stop the chitter chattering the jabbering and get into the and get into okay let's just stop chatting the jibber jabbering the chatting and get into dolingo and also make my thumbnails hey siri set an alarm for 12 30 p.m your alarm is set for 12 30 p.m That is it for my 2022 morning routine. I guess you can say it's pretty productive. It's pretty chill. Not a lot going on, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, stay busy. I love you so much.